Good afternoon, class. Last time we discussed something about implicit differentiation. Today our lesson is on differentiation of parametric equations or parametric functions. What we mean by that? At times we are given a certain expression or function, let's say of a curve, equation of a curve, but in two different parameters. Instead of it being maybe y equal uh, x cubed plus 4x squared or whatever. No. It is rather in different equations. Say x given as a t squared. That is the x part is in a different parameter t. And say the y part is also maybe 2a T, the parameter here that we are talking about is T. If you are asked to find the gradient or the slope of this curve, it is one curve with the parameters in different form. I mean, X components and then the Y component in a different T parameter. What do we do? We use the chain rule, which says that dy dx is equal to dy dt times dt dx. What does this stand for? It means you are going to differentiate the y component with respect to t. Then you differentiate the x component or the x part also with respect to t. And you turn it upside down so that instead of dx dt becomes dt dx. So what we are going to do now is to find the y dt and then the x dt. The y dt is going to, we are going to differentiate this y. When you differentiate this with respect to t, you are going to get only 2a. Now the x dt, that is differentiating the x part with respect to t, this two will come and multiply. So you get 2a t but in the uh, i mean the, the the formula we don't have the s dt we rather have the t dx so what do we do we turn the s dt upside down so this implies that the t dx is equal to 1 over 2 a t if that is the case then the y dx is simply the y dt which we have as 2a times let me repeat you know i need to write the formula for you to get the understanding so that i don't jump any step the y dx is the y dt times dt dx which we can simply write as dy dt is 2a times dt dx, which is 1 over 2at. So you see, 2a and 2a will be cancelled out, and we are therefore going to get dy dx to be equal to 1 over t. This is the gradient function or the slope. In this case, if you were asked to find the, the, the gradient, if x is something, y is something, or if t is something, then you replace the t by its value. I want us to be sure of this, and it's very simple. Thank you very much.